We are Saturday, and this is my first order. 27 bucks for Door on DoorDash. I missed a $42 order on Instacart. I saw the, I saw the notification, and then it disappeared. All right, so he says that's for his mom. Um, and she'll come out right now, because I don't know which apartment it is. But um, I'm waiting for her now. She should be out soon. Can I take a picture? Look. All right. All right. Drop off is complete. And now we're gonna go back to the store. I'm out of the zone. Uh, but nothing was happening. It, I don't know why, but um, this is the only good order that I got sent since I arrived at the store. So. She's 201. Oh, that smells like feet in there. That's probably what it is. Whatever, I don't understand why they do that. It's so much nicer. It was a meat customer, but then they take so long to come to the door. I don't understand. Anyway, is this? Yeah. The elevators that the door opens when the elevator is still going down freak me out. Anyway, let's go deliver to the DoorDash customer now. Okay, we're here. I just realized that's who it is. All right, he left the thing just a bit open. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is a $15 order on Instacart and a $13 on Uber. She said that she had to cancel her order with the previous shopper because the person, he didn't want to search for her, for her like hamburger patties. I was like, wow. Because it's like specific patties that are not where the other ones are. are. And she was like, yeah, I told him where it was and he was like, no, I'm not willing to search for them. So she had to cancel. Alright, second drop off is here. This is very nice. <clears throat> Goodness. And some water. accepted a $13 order on DoorDash. I'm pretty sure it's still crashing because it went back to the former way of when you're scanning items. 
but so far it's letting me do it, so. Okay, I'm done shopping, and I accepted a $44 order on Instacart for three customers, uh, but I'm gonna go deliver this one first because he's like four minutes away. Delivery is done. I'm five minutes away from the store. Instacart keeps sending me messages to start the batch. All right, um, I'm almost done. It's actually three pretty small orders. She just told me to make sure of whatever for the cat food, but I'm almost done. All right, we're done. It was actually pretty easy. Three, the three customers were answering pretty fast. We should be okay for the deliveries. Now it's uh, the guessing game, which customer did not tip? Because this one had a shit ton of cat food, this one is only one bag, and this one is 185. I'm betting on this one. Okay, someone let me in. Some dude who said, I live here, by the way. Yeah, okay, I don't, bye. <laughs> uh. Three. I'm just gonna assume it's this way. Okay, actually, I just remembered this bottle, it's champagne and it's a hundred dollars. So I'm not sure nobody tipped. I think everybody tipped to some extent on that order. We'll see. But um, now I'm gonna go deliver the third one. All right. This is really heavy, and this is really small. I have to go through the gate. accepted a $12 order on DoorDash because nothing's happening. It was for eight bunches of mint. They don't, they don't they didn't have it and they replaced it with the living ones and they only had four. But it's fine. What happened to the footage of that day? But basically I lost like half of it. That's why you don't really see me talking after the deliveries. I don't know where those videos have gone. I remember making them, I can't find them anywhere. So I apologize about this, but I wanted to say that after this $13 delivery, I had to give it to the security guards because they have security in that house, I guess. And after that, I was like maybe $30 away from 200 and I just could not get anything. And then I finally got a $15 order it was going 3.1 miles, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just do it. It was for ice cream. Just the entire order was ice cream. It was five items, five jars of ice cream. It was going into the hills. And as I was about to go to checkout, I received a $37 order on Uber for two items. And I don't know why. It was for only two bottles of juice. And I was like, okay, this will take me to 200. 
So I accepted it. I went to deliver to the DoorDash customer first because she was closer. When I arrived, um, I guess her husband was coming back from work. So I gave it to him. And then I went to deliver to the Uber Eats customer. And I was expecting it to be almost all base pay, which it was. It was a $2 tip, which is okay for two bottles of juice. And he gave me $4 cash tip. So I did hit $200 that day, thanks to that amazing Uber Eats order. And it was a pretty good day actually. So I really don't know why this base, this base pay was so high. Probably someone unassigned this order, I don't know. But he came to meet me at the car, gave me $4 cash tip and tipped $2 on the app and I got $37. How great is that? Hello.